Hey everyone, it's Julie. Today we'll be making Halloween pudding. It's vanilla pudding with some crushed Oreos and topped off with some cookies. It's delicious and perfect for Halloween. But before we get started, I wanted to show you the pumpkin pie truffles that my friend Beth from the Cooking and Crafting channel made. They look delicious and I really suggest you check it out at the end of this video. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make our pudding. We're going to pour some milk into our saucepan, let that simmer. In a separate bowl, I cracked one whole egg and two egg yolks. Some sugar, give everything a mix, some cornstarch to thicken up the pudding, and then we're going to pour in the hot milk slowly. So you want to temper the eggs, and the way you do that is by adding a small amount of hot liquid, give it a mix, and that shall prevent your eggs from scrambling and then just pour in all of the remaining milk. You're then going to pour the mixture into a saucepan. We are going to let the cornstarch do its thing. We're going to cook this until it is nice and thick, about 10 to 15 minutes. You want to continuously whisk this, and then you may finally take it off the heat. This part is optional, but I like to pass it through a sieve to make sure that the eggs did not scramble, and if they did, the sieve will catch up any pieces that did. Now all that's left to do is add in the vanilla extract, it is vanilla pudding after all, and some butter. The vanilla is going to give it flavor, the butter is going to give it a nice velvety texture, and of course better flavor as well. And then you want to let this cool completely and place it in the fridge for a minimum of 2-3 to three hours. I melted some chocolate chips, placed them in a Ziploc bag, and we are going to write RIP, rest in peace just in case, on our Milano cookies. Now they're called graveyard cookies. Set them aside and now it's time to dye our vanilla pudding orange and green. I didn't have orange dye, but if you remember the color wheel in grammar school, you know that red and yellow will give you orange. And now I will mention that once you dye the pudding and whisk it continuously, it will loosen up a bit. If you don't dye it and mix it, it will remain very thick. So I just wanted to point that out. And I chose to dye the pudding orange and green, well because those are the Halloween colors in my opinion. In a food processor, I blended up some Oreo cookies, and that's going to be the dirt. Just pretend it's real dirt. I placed some on the bottom of each glass, then I poured in some of the colored pudding, moved on to the next glass without finishing the first one. I usually do that. So basically pour in the dirt first, some colored pudding, some more dirt, some more colored pudding, and finally some more dirt. Oh, and then finally the graveyard cookies. I thought this idea was super easy and fun for Halloween. You don't need any creative talents to make this, clearly. I think the kids will love this, and the pudding mixed with the crushed Oreos is delicious, so it's a win-win situation. I really hope you guys give this a try. Don't forget to head on over to Beth's channel to check out her delicious pumpkin pie truffles. I will leave all of her links in the description box below. Hope you guys had fun, and have a very fun and safe Halloween.